Hello, everybody. Missing Sock here again. Thanks for watching. Today, I got something special planned for you, but kind of something's planned for me. I was going to say other people were bugging me to look at it, but the truth is it's really me that's bugging me to do this. Um, yeah, so I heard about the Civilization trailer a little while ago, and I wanted to kind of review this. I'm a, I'm a Civilization fan. Um, certain years, certain versions, about more than others. Um, but yeah, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the next Civilization. Uh, uh, I know about the recent one, uh, Beyond Earth. Um, some people like it. I wasn't big on it because, you know, it didn't seem like it was classic Civilization. Um, I was hoping to see a Civilization 4 that was um, more advanced. You know, I really liked uh, uh, 4 for those reasons. 4 was just so detailed. Uh, maybe in a later episode I'll show you my Civilization 4 save game. It's uh, quite a mess and quite detailed and quite a big knot of the world tied together with, uh, I think I started with 32 Civilizations or something like that and all the expansions. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed the detail level you could get out of Civilization 4. Um, Civilization 5, I enjoyed that a lot. Um, I found it to be a nice, fast-paced game, but uh, Civilization 5... I don't know. I found it lacked a lot of the detail. You know, you could you couldn't do big grand strategies. You could only have so many civilizations. Um, you know, the maps could only be so big. It seemed limited in many ways compared to Civilization IV. Although graphically it was better, and and the speed and pace of the game was better. But uh, I think in many ways Civilization IV had a beat. So I was really disappointed to see Beyond Earth come out, even though it might have been its own game, a good game in its own right. Uh, I was really waiting for the next one, which is now apparently coming already. Civilization VI. So here's the trailer, which I have not watched yet. Looks like it was published on the 11th of May. And I've been waiting to do this. So we'll watch this together here, everybody. Civilization. Official announcement trailer. Let's see what, we, what it is. Then we'll have a look at their website and see what they got. We are the explorers. The inventors the architects of change, the builders of a better tomorrow. We strive, we dream, we inspire, always towards something greater. All the odds we defy. The risks we take. The challenges we endure. Only make us stronger. There's no end to our imagination. And no limits. Very epic. To civilization. Nice. October 21st, 2016. Mmm, looking forward to that. Okay. Let's see here. Hmm. Well, let's back that up. We see. are the explorers. I thought it was well done. Very epic. The inventors. Mm -hmm. The architects. That seems to give you an idea of all the old civilizations that they had in there. You see Egypt, you see the Greece, builders. you see you know Rome, China, you got uh, France, you got all oh, I'm sure they seem to go through a whole bunch of them. Gandhi goes by. We strive. They show a bunch of achievements. We dream. For those of us who have played Civilization, uh, you'd know what they're referencing, I think. All these different things that you built throughout the games. Well, that Civilization has built. It looks like they reference art in this one. That'd be good. They always had artists, but they never really played it up a lot, I guess. I'm wondering if that's a like a blurred image there, or is that just me? Why would they even put it in if they're going to blur it? I don't know. Flight of the Wright Brothers. The cool. risks we take. Yeah, space and everything. The yeah, it's nice epic sounding. Got the war, got all the references. Feels like civilization, sounds like civilization. Pre-order today, October 21st. 
All right, so going over to the website here, this is what they've got currently. they got Civilization VI, pre-order, learn more. we got some screenshots down here. That's what I've been waiting for. This game description. Hmm. Next entry in the award-winning Civilization franchise, which has sold nearly 33 million units worldwide, including more than 8 million units of Civilization V. Hmm. Yep, Sid Meier. Created. Great creator. Let's have a look at the uh, screenshots, though. Okay, so first glance, it makes me think a lot of Civilization V. Hmm. See, we got like country borders going on here. You guys can watch my mouse there. Got all the country borders. Looks like we got water, some boats out there. There's another little, what, a city state or another country over here? And this is another country and their borders. Don't have it. Look like we don't have any borders meeting yet. Maybe this is a border there meeting with these guys. It's hard to say. That's two different countries or just the edge of their property. I think it's just the edge of the one country, and that's the edge of the other over here. Hmm. Pyramids, the Great Lighthouse. Yeah, the Great Wonders. Let's see what else we got. Next screenshot. Better shot. Doesn't really tell you if that's a unit. Oh, it looks like that's a unit. It looks like, a, at a glance, it's starting to look a lot like Civilization V. Which is good, but I hope that they did away with the one unit per tile thing. Or, if they kept the one unit per tile thing, they gave us a much bigger map. You know, for some of us that like the bigger strategy games, it's hard to do that with just one unit on the map. You know, and I think that they like that pace and that strategy, but yeah, but when you're controlling an entire empire, it's kind of odd to have it rest on one unit's shoulders, you know. You should be able to create a little bit more strategy than that, layered, if you want to. And it looks like that's, that's it, just... Uh, just the two, three, yeah. Uh, amphitheater down here, Got a monument and a city, town. Not sure if that's another town or if that's an oasis. Huh. Well, it looks good. Looks nice and clean. But it doesn't look detailed, but, you know, that could be deceiving. These games always were. Features, expansive empires. See the marvels of vampires spread across the map like never before. Each city spans the multiple tiles, so you can custom build, custom build your city to take a full advantage of the local terrain. Active research. Hmm. Unlock boosts that speed your civilization's progress through history. To advance more quickly, use your units to actively explore, develop your environment, and discover new cultures. Dynamic diplomacy. Interactions with other civilizations change over the course of the game, from primitive first interactions where conflict is a fact of life, to late game alliances and negotiations. I hope that's true, because Civilization V I found to be a very bit of a letdown diplomatically. Uh, you know, I play a lot of war, but at the same time, diplomacy is part of these strategies to dominating your enemy, right? And uh, in Civilization V, it was very hard to have friends. Um, you could have the friends as long as you kept it to a fast game or in the early game, but if you had a really long game or one that went from the ancient times to modern times, it was very hard to maintain any kind of friendships or alliances. You know, it was just like the, the AI was programmed to hate you for so many reasons that over time it, it hated you no matter what, just because it was so unavoidable for them not to hate you. Yeah. Combined arms. Well, that's good. Expanding on the one unit per tile design. Oh, why would you want to expand on that? I guess they thought they were successful with five. Uh, support units can now be embedded with other units. Well, that sounds good. Like anti-tank anti support with infantry or a warrior with settlers. Similar units can also be combined to form powerful core units. Uh, that sounds better than the one unit per tile design. Enhanced multiplayer. In addition to traditional multiplayer modes, cooperate and compete with your friends in a wide variety of situations, all designed to easily compete in a single session. Uh, compete in a single session. Yeah, what about people that like the long sessions, though? Hmm. Civ for all players. Hmm, really? Well, we'll see. Civilization VI provides veteran players new ways to build and tune their civilization with the greatest chance of success. New tutorial systems introduce new players to the underlying concepts so they can easily get started. Hmm. Well, I agree. It's nice that they do easy, but it would have been nice to see a... I was hoping for Civilization 4 Plus, you know, Civilization 4 Advanced, you know, maybe Civilization 7. But we'll see, but at a glance, it does not look like it's going to be detailed. It looks like it's going to be another fast-paced game, which is good, but I think there's a lot of games out there like it. Civilization was kind of known for their detail. But we'll see. It's just screenshots in a video, so that doesn't really tell me enough yet. But I'm still looking forward to it. I'll probably still play, but it looks like I might still be playing my Civilization 4, nonetheless. Hmm. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed a little checking out of the Civilization trailer with me. 
We'll have to look at some more trailers very soon. And I hope to be actually playing the game soon. But not soon enough, I suppose. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give us a like. Or uh, if you haven't already, subscribe down below. Um, we appreciate any support you give us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. We are the explorers. The inventors. The architects of change. The builders of a better tomorrow. We strive. Yes. We dream. A better tomorrow. A dream. We I'll see you at the next one.